I am here with some exciting news. Today, I got the news that I am ready to trigger. This is such a pivotal moment because that means that I am close to retrieval and I actually have a date for retrieval. My egg retrieval is this Friday, the 5th. Today is February 3rd, 2021 and my egg retrieval is February 5th, 2021. That gives us exactly two days to retrieval. I am so excited. I could not be happier. I am exhausted. I am stuck out of there. Like I am pin cushioned out of there. I have had all the, all the shots, all the needles, more blood work today, just completely done with the whole entire process. I personally am, I'm done. I am tired. I have not been sleeping well. Well, I can't even say I haven't been sleeping well. I just, I've been getting up early every single day. Well, every other day to go to doctor's appointments. I've been shooting myself every single night with my medication. And now finally we are done. Hello, boys and girls, we are done. We are done with the low dose. We are done with the gano. We are done with the gano relics. We are done, sis, we are done. And I have like literally one dose of every one of those meds left. So just the fact that we are done with it, I am so excited, I am so happy. I am not over it because it's all a part of the process, but I am happy to be getting through this process. I could not wait to get to this point to be in the beginning of February because I knew that right now is the time for the retrieval and for the transfer. Now, as far as the transfer, we're not gonna hatch our eggs before we lay them or count our eggs before they hatch, however that goes. We're not gonna do that. So right now, we're just gonna focus on the retrieval. So far, I've counted about 10 eggs so far, um, 10 good ones, like, you know, size 18 and above. So we've counted 10 good ones. Doctor uh, said he's there's no need to wait any longer. There's no, cause he doesn't want to overcook the eggs. So he said there's no reason for us to wait any longer. Go ahead and trigger tonight, probably around 8 p.m. So I'll be having to pack the Orbitro with me to take to work um, and just be listening out for my phone to hear my next instruction. Um, I am super excited and I get a couple days off of work. So the retrieval is Friday. I don't have to work that Friday. So I am so excited. I think I might just take an extra day so I can just have like a long weekend. That would be super great. I am really excited for that. Vacation's coming up and I'm really excited for that too. Just time off of work, period. I'm just excited for it. You know, I who isn't? Who isn't excited to get time off of work? Like really? Like so, um, yeah, I'm just, you know, really excited that everything is moving along. I just wanted to jump on and let you guys know the great news that the injections are done. It's time to trigger and it's time to retrieve those eggs. I am so excited, you guys. Are you guys excited? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So we're getting towards the end and it wasn't that bad now. You know, I, I'll, I haven't had really too many um, symptoms from the shots. Like I had a little bit of bloating, a little bit of swelling, a little, little numbness, honestly, at the bottom of my belly. Towards the end, I, towards the end of my injections, I started to not feel them anymore. I don't know if you saw in the last, um, my last post when I was uh, given the injections at work, I think I said like, is it it? Like, <laughs> I'm getting too used to it. But you know, as you can see, I kind of low key hyperventilate when I'm giving myself the injections. So I haven't really, film them that much because I kind of get sweaty and nervous and I kind of hyperventilate when it comes to them. So I just was like, yeah, probably not going to film all of these, but we'll film some so you can guys can get a little idea of what I have to do. So those are done. So we're going to trigger tonight and Friday we're going to go get those babies out and um, he's going to provide a sample Friday in the office. He's nervous about that. He's very weirded out about it. He's such a dude. He feels like a creep. <laughs> Don't tell him I told you. 
He does. He doesn't like it at all. He just, he's like, you know, going in a public place. It's, it's weird to him. So I try to reassure him like they're not, you know, in his mind, it's like, it's a bathroom off of the waiting room. He feels like he's going to be in there in the bathroom off of the waiting room where everybody else is going to see him and it's going to be awkward. And I feel like he, I feel like he feels like he's going to like cross paths with a guy and they're going to give each other like the eye contact. Like, I, <laughs> like I know what you just did. <laughs> I told him. I said, listen, babe, no one, no guy, no guy comes to this particular clinic or any fertility clinic unless they're ready to drop that sample. Like, we don't, I don't want to say we don't need you there. We need you there for moral support. But you can support us when we get the hell back home. A lot of guys don't go to these appointments with their women. They don't. A lot of guys don't. It's weird for them. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, some some are really, really super duper into it and really supportive and they're there every single visit and everything like that. But my man has a job, he has his own business, he does not have time to go to every single appointment. I've literally been every other day. He has made the pivotal appointments, the very first one and the very last one that we need. That's all I need you for. Like, I don't need you in here. You don't have to be in here. Drop that off. And let and we and we gonna keep it moving. That's all I need you to do. That's the only time he shows up to the clinic, though. Either if he needs blood work to drop that off, or if I have something, you know, like he was there for both of my IUIs. Um, he's gonna be there for the egg retrieval, obviously, because he has to come with the fresh, you know. And so, uh, <laughs> and he's gonna be there for um, the transfer. That's all I need him there for. Drop some kids off. Be there to support me for my um, retrieval because I'm gonna be kinda out of it. So I'm gonna need him to drive, I'm gonna need him to be there, so he'll be there for that. And then also the transfer, I'm gonna be out of it. I'm gonna need him there for that. So I wanna say the next time you guys see this face, this face <laughs> is going to be on Friday. After no on Friday after the retrieval or on Friday before the retrieval after the retrieval you know I'll probably hop on and talk to you guys before I get ready to go to the retrieval or as I'm getting ready and then I'll probably hop on and talk I'll definitely hop on and talk to you guys after the retrieval while I'm in recovery um, just to kind of make sure I you know just document these things I just want to you know I want to document these things just as well as you guys want to see me I want to see me too I want to know you know, how I was looking and what I was saying and, you know, how it went for me. I definitely want to see that. So, absolutely. Definitely going to come. But, um, I'm so sorry. And I know I say I'm a lot. I'm so sorry. And I know I say sorry a lot. I'm so sorry. But, that's just me. I'm, I'm getting used to this. It's still kind of weird for me. I'm getting used to it. I'm so used to filming on my phone and not on camera that it's just, it's still kind of weird to me. But I'm getting there, y'all. I promise I'm getting there. I really am. This came with the came through with the intro and the outro. The outro will be coming soon. Soon as she emails it to me, I will be including my outro. So right now, you know, the intro popping. She picked some beautiful pictures of myself. And I'm just super pleased with it. She could not have done a better job. And I could not be more blessed to have such great people in my life. And when I say sister, I mean sister in love. You know, not sister by blood, but sister in love. Because I know I let you guys know that I'm going through some family issues. So when from this, from that moment on, let you guys know about my issues. When I say sister, I mean sister in love. I have a sister in love because of my fiance's brother. So she's like my sister in law. And then, but I call her my sister in love instead of sister in law. So she's my sister in love, and then I have a stepsister that my father married her mother and you know she her mother already had her so she is my sister by marriage so when i speak of my sisters it's either going to be the sister by marriage or my sister in love so um biological family is completely out period um and that's fine you know when you're strong, like I'm strong, and I could be my own best friend, like that's another reason why it wasn't really hard for me to start vlogging, because I am my own best friend. It's, it's super easy for me to do. But I'm not trying to make this too long. I really wanted to make this quick and sweet. It's 10.43 a.m. My appointment was at 9. 
Um, I got back home about 9.30. My employees are really bad. They're, they get me in and out. So I'm going to rip this off. And, well, I don't know if you guys see. I'm going to rip that off. And then I am going to head over here so that I can upload this video for you guys. And you guys can have that. And, you know, whatever. Um, get it to the rest of my morning. I might even make a nap if I can. I think I'm going to make a shake. I think I'm going to make a shake. Either that or some tea. I'm not really sure. Neither here nor there. Probably going to make some tea because it's quicker than a shake. I really don't have a taste for a shake. But I, I need my flag tea. But anyway. Neither here nor there. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Love always. Hate never. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog.